Black Pattern Traders, uh, April 24th, Saturday. Let's talk about BTC real quick and see where we are. I am under the impression that a lot of people are extremely bearish on uh, coin itself, and this is what everyone is expecting. Um, we made a higher high range. We made a high, then we made a higher high. Um, actually made a high, made a low, made a higher high, came back down and made a lower low. And now everyone's anticipating that we're going to go make a lower high into a uh, massive dump back down to that 43 and... 41k range um is this valid for me yeah you can you can give me a, you can give me you can, you can make a solid case that this is this could end up being a series of higher highs lower lows lower highs until um we find a nice reaccumulation bottom and at that point altcoins could, could could start running but i'm not i am not um i'm not betting I'm not putting my eggs in that basket. I'm gonna show you something. Hold on one second. Let me just let me just figure this out. Um, go a little higher, right there. So let's do that. Assuming that it's something along the lines of this, right? Okay, cool. Um, higher high, and then let's take your take your fib level. Go from the top to the bottom. Let's delete all these these uh, green squigglies. By, by all means, let me make this very clear. I'm not for this scenario. I'm just drawing it out for you guys to see what majority of the people are, um, the traders are anticipating right now on Twitter. So, and it, to me, this isn't valid, but just let me at least uh, make my case why I think that it's not valid. The golden zone ends up being at 58.7, also falls in place with your, I need my 702, my OTE, which I probably don't even have, 705 good enough, which also falls into place with the OTE at what is that right there why do i have a gold zone there there we go at make this black at fifty nine thousand dollars so logically speaking we shouldn't get above this area i'm gonna highlight this i'm gonna highlight this level um right here we should not get above this i'm gonna put this in red okay so ideally what people are expecting is a since we made a lower low go make a lower high which is valid create a uh a three top pattern which is going to be a two it's going to be a three your lower high and then go make a lower low again and start this 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 downtrending channel uh in the meantime create a base around the bottom somewhere reaccumulate and old coins and ethereum could run right that's the case that a lot of people are expecting from uh from twitter and whatnot on on my end is this a valid case based on technical analysis absolutely um, will I, is there a reason why I don't think that it's valid? I'll tell you why I don't think that it's valid. So whatever happens at that, 50, that 58, 59K range will indicate if BTC is going to start a multi-week, multi-month downtrend or continue its leg up to around 71, $72,000. Now, nobody here is telling you to go into massive longs and we're bullish and we're going to go to 100K because you need to have caution. But if you start this downtrend channel, then you can expect that altcoins are not going to be just flying on their own without taking major hits. Um, a lot of these altcoins, let me close this. I'm going to make another one called, uh, make a copy to make this altcoins. A lot of these altcoins, I'll show you guys, have already dumped under their their accumulation range. Like for example, look at Algo, right? Uh, beautiful price action. We made a cup, we made a massive cup. And then what do we do? We completely shat right under it, right? So to one, that's your that's your structure on the, on the local end. Let's make this red. That's your structure on the local end. So to one, this, to me personally, is disgusting. Like what are you doing? Why are you under here? You have no business being here. Assuming that we are, assuming that we are at this level over here, look how beautiful this looks, right? You take a take a simple fib extension, and you tell yourself, okay, we're gonna do a double top at the one to one at 1.62, something along the lines of this. Come down, retest this top, hold because that's your breakout, right? This is your breakout. Hold this level over here, and then you want to continue its bullish course. But what did it do instead? Look what it did instead. Where is this play button, man? Let's go. Wow, look, look, look what it did instead. It went up. Okay, why is it so slow? Went up. Hit the one to one. Hit the seven eight six. Didn't even hit the one to one yet. Wait, now it's gonna go. It's gonna hit the one to one. Come on. Come on. Do it 
food. Why is it taking so long? There you go. Hit the one to one. And then it dumped. But not only did it dump, it went completely under. It went completely under everything. Now somebody could tell you tell you, oh well yeah, it's liquidity ground. It went it went to take out to shake everybody out before it, it makes its move up. Right? Because look where it went. It went all the way down here, which is the bottom of the range, which is valid if you don't play with structures. To me, this is your structure, right? You made you deviated the high, you reaccumulated, faked everybody out, broke under the, the tread line, then went back above. At that point, when you went back above, you have this order block over here. This uh, this order block over here, right there. We wicked it. Well, we candle closed it. We wicked the top, took the quilted on the top side, and then we dumped. So let's just go back to the case I'm trying to make. If any, if everybody is expecting, um, if everybody's expecting that BTC is about to make a lower low, uh, lower high into a lower low, which um, valid if you think so where are these altcoins going to go that means that since they already are at the close to the bottom of the range right they already are close to the bottom of the range this becomes your range now right this is your range where well, your, your accumulation range you can put one to the top here this is your accumulation range put your um point 0.5 I don't want to go off topic, right? Because I want to make the video about BTC, but I need I need you guys to see the logic behind this. So this is your point five of the range. Take this off. There you go. Very visible, right? Clear as clear as sky. So if BTC dumps, where are we going? We're gonna end up having to fill this whole gap down here. See how we went parabolic over here? You lose this 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 red line. You're gonna start taking out lows from here, from here, from here. Well, you're not gonna go this slow because that was the previous high right so you're gonna stop somewhere around the previous high right you're gonna stop somewhere around there right um so I, I i don't see it i don't see it i don't see it i can't see why they would do that to the altcoins especially because the range that we're in on majority of the altcoins has been accumulated for over a month um so we've got into the range over here and we are about almost two months in i mean almost three months in right now in the range if you want to go from top to bottom top to bottom yeah almost three months in so is this distribution and we're going to just basically distribute and then just go down what's the point of an odd season right we rounded bottom expansion reaccumulation expansion this is what usually happens in a bull in a bull market expansion retest reaccumulation expansion and then you start distributing coming down, right? Not exactly these numbers, but I'm anticipating at least three to five dollars. So just to put it in perspective, that's how a lot of these old coins look, right? Go to our AAV because I'm also an AAV as well. So to show you guys, and again, I don't want to make this video about old coins, but I want you guys to understand that my BTC bias falls a lot on the old coins. I was speaking to some other guys that told me that, yeah, don't worry about it. BTC could just keep dicking around and going down while altcoins go up. I don't think that's going to happen. That's not the case here. I think the altcoins, the altcoins are going to take a hit if BTC, if BTC rolls. I, I, I can't see it going up on its own. So if we go in the lower time, it might be clear. Hold on. Let me see. We had a uh, double top there. Uh, let's go to the daily. Yeah, let's just grab it from here. Actually, the, the breakdown is here right here. There you go. That's your breakdown. Okay, so now look, look where we are with AAV. Same concept. We made a cup, rounded bottom, and we broke down. We didn't really break down, but we broke back to the range low. We didn't even we didn't even have any any strength to go to the range top to the breakdown the breakdown range. We didn't even take the liquidity. We didn't take any highs. Nothing, right? So this is starting to look very bearish to me if BTC rolls over, right? So if you come if you're coming at me with a bearish case that BTC has to roll over, we have to go to thirty thousand dollars. Every single altcoin that you see will take a massive hit, man. Take a massive hit. Um, because we are at range lows. The minute you break under this range, this whole this whole thing will become a massive uh, resistance line at that point. If you break under, it's very hard to get back above. You know? Very hard to get back above in this. You talk, we, we've been here for over 60, 70 days. It's going to be very, uh, it's gonna be a big challenge to get back up here, right? Um, so that, 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 
that goes to tell you and show you that I'm not for the bear case. Now, I know we've been overextended for a very long time and we need to cool off, we need to retrace, and retracing is normal. I get it. But at the end of the day, we are, we are at levels that if we do happen to roll over, they're going to be significant because we did this expansion up and we have lots of gaps that we left open. Right? I'm not telling you we're going to go down here. I'm not saying that. I'm not telling you we're going to die because we just did a 50% retracement on majority of the altcoins. Right? So... 50% uh, retracement on the altcoins is significant. Look at Theta, for example. We already broke up, broke down. Theta broke down completely, right? This is Theta, range low, range high. I'm just throwing, I'm just throwing uh, uh, lines at you. I'm not really doing this precisely, right? This is your range. Uh, look what it did. This is what all these altcoins are going to do if BTC rolls over. And people don't understand that some shit coins. <laughs> Um, their cycles are they're forward. How do I say this? Okay, so this is this is basically a forward cycle compared to a lot of shit coins. You see how we, we accumulated or we distributed or whatever you want to call this range. We consolidated here for about 30 days and then we broke down. And when we broke down, we basically created this leg accumulation block and now we're making lower lows. You think it's gonna be easy to get back above these? Above, above these blocks? No, it's not gonna be easy. It's not. So if you want BTC to go down to thirty thousand dollars, I'm telling you right now, all these altcoins will, will suffer. They're gonna hit. They're gonna get hit. They're gonna get. They're gonna get really hurt, man. You know, it's gonna. It's gonna be bad. Um, what else could I show you guys an example of? XRP for actually no, it's a different cycle. I can't show you XRP. Gava, Gava broke down. Um, give me another one. That's uh, CRV. Perfect. I'm currently in CRV. Same thing with CRV, range high. This whole thing is a reaccumulation, range low, right? This whole thing is a reaccumulation. It's massive. Um, we went up, we deviated the highs, and now we're back in the old range with all this at the bottom. But we're go cl we're closing in at the range low. So if BTC rolls over, you think this is gonna hold us, right? hit this and come all the way back down reaccumulate and what go just go up so we did all this just to come back down here meanwhile we were down here for i don't know how long all right doesn't make sense doesn't make sense if one if if one could argue the fact that we we have local we have a local top a local top for um roughly about say i don't know a couple of months or two months or whatever then yes i'm with you guys everything that the, everything that these old coins are painting right now is is going to be a little worrisome um one inch two <clears throat> the range that we're in will break down and this is all just distribution but to me in my case this is reaccumulation for another massive leg up and i'm I'll, I'll be fine to be proven wrong i don't mind right to me it doesn't matter and i'm not married to my bias even though i'm an investor and i have a lot of shit coins in spot I just can't see why they would waste all this time accumulating and ranging just to knock it back down into the old range. Doesn't make you don't. This isn't bullish behavior. This is not behavior you see in a bull run. You see this in a bear market where you make an expansion up, you distribute, then you make another leg down. And one could say, "Hey, Mike, you know what happens if we do a fake out where well, you come down and then you go up?" But why though? Why would you do that? It costs more money to send this thing down than to send it up. So why would you do that to what to shake people out? You just did a massive nuke and you shook a lot of people out, right? So that's my bias based on the altcoins. Let me go back to BTC. I got off track. I apologize. So if anyone is for this, it's valid, right? I'm not gonna argue. If anyone's for this, um, you shouldn't see the daylight above fifty-nine thousand dollars. Take your extension from the higher high to the lower low to the potential lower high, and you want to target forty-three point eight. To roughly about, I'm take off log. To roughly about, uh, yeah, forty-two to forty-six thousand dollars. Basically, this this box down here will be your your buy zone. Make this green. Again, I'm giving you guys a scenario because I know a lot of people are for this particular scenario. So I'm giving you my uh, my points. If we do happen to get the lower lo the lower high, uh, this is what you should expect. And then you could expect that we we should potentially downtrend a little bit um, from here. You know, do something like this, create a rounded bottom, wick down, and then go back up, if that's the case, if this is the case. Now, one could say, hey, what happens if we keep going lower? Yeah, you could. You could definitely keep going lower. You could basically come and do this again then at that point. You can come and you can do something along the lines of this. Grab it from here. Let's say your, your, your low is around 44. 
Uh, go back to your golden pocket. Golden pocket and get rid of the five. Give me the seven. Oh, I don't know where that is. Seven. Oh, shit, man. Right here. Seven and five. And again, then this becomes your. Your next slap, right? And then you're going to do something along the lines of this. And then you're going to make another lower. Oops. And then you're going to do this. And you're just going to keep doing this and keep doing this, right? So I'm going to leave this up because I'm going to see how this plays out. Again, by all means, I'm only doing this to show you guys that if you are for the bearish scenario, this is what you should expect. I'm not for this, um, but at least I want my viewers to see that it is a valid scenario for technical analysis. It's not It's not uh, completely... Um, I'm not an ignorant person to tell you that this is not valid is what I'm trying to tell you. So I'm painting the picture for you if you're bearish. Now, in regards to my bulls that are out there that are watching the stream, I am still playing with... Give me my setup. Hold on. No, it wasn't here. What was it? I think it was out, oh, TMA. Um, that's the old coins, TMA. This is Litecoin. This is BTC high time frame. This is Monday. Was it Monday? Yeah, it was Monday. Yeah, it was Monday. Yeah. So if you are a bull and you're still watching this and you're interested to see what the bull case is, I will make... I will make... Um, how do I show this without deleting everything? I don't want to delete all this because I need this. Get rid of this. Um... You know what? It's okay. I, I'll work with this. All right. So we broke down. Originally, when I made the video last, we were somewhere over here, right? And I was adamant about the fact that we shouldn't break down one more leg. And if we do happen to break down, we need to do a deviation. Because if we don't do a deviation, then it's officially a lower low, which is going to be a series of something like this. Hold on. Like this. Yeah. Right? So um, I'm going to delete a bunch of these stuff. The trail line we don't need anymore. We don't need this anymore. Um, this is the breakdown level. I need that. Let me get rid of my high low. This is the daily order block. I'm going to keep the daily order block. PVW. You see how we bounced off that, guys? Um, the next one that we need to hit is 44.9, which is still which is still open. Uh, let me see. No, it's not this. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's right here, this, right here, guys, right here. So forty-four point seven. Okay, that's the next level of interest um, that has a void. Once we break down from here, we could expect another leg down, right? So something along the lines of if we happen to go to fifty-three thousand dollars, take out the liquidity there, take out this high, take out this high, reject here, then you could expect that we're going to end up coming down here for bearish. Okay, now bullish case. Go back to your four hour. Let's make a nice little case for our bulls. Close this. You know what I want to do though? Make a copy. Let's call this low time frame. BTC low time frame. Because I want to leave Monday intact. I want to make it very clear to you guys. The minute we get back into Monday range, which is the blue, blue, gold, blue, things are going to look a lot better for bulls only because of the fact that we've been, we have been we distributed in this little range and it became a block. But I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in a clear chart. So logically speaking, guys, this is a brand new chart um, for the lower time frame. If you take your all time highs, which is around here, and then you take your um, your high, your low, you deviate. To talk about just this range right here. This is going to be a low time frame chart, low time frame range, okay? So you guys can see what I'm talking about. And this is why I think that based on price action, we are going to go up and not down. Just, just look at what I'm about to draw for everybody. Um, and tell me if you agree or not. We have a uh, a breakdown that took place around here. This is gonna be a, this is gonna be your first breakdown level that is a significant. I'm gonna make it red. And um, all this up here was even though it looks like a, a, a deviation, which is valid to be a deviation. At the end of the day, it was deliberately suppressed to bring the price down. You could tell by how how narrow how narrow these um 
these uh, lower uh, lower highs are right so and then you could tell how this see how everybody was saying oh, we're gonna do go for a three drive pattern which was not about a two drive pattern for me all right so I'm gonna keep that up there for you guys now look what we did we sat here and we and we created a five day block I range low who the fuck does that right who does that right someone that wants to protect this range Somebody that doesn't want the price to come back into this. You don't do this. You don't spend time at support to break down unless you want to defend it when you go back up to retest it. So I know that everyone's expecting that 58K and 59K will get tapped, which is valid. It should, right? But from where we are right now, from where we are right now, think about it logically. What did we do? We had a complete manipulated dump based on some kind of news that came out or whatever options expiring you could put any narrative you want to it to me it's fucking nonsense and noise right but let's just use this wick as an example or you could do what i do and use that use that block as a, use that original deviation as a uh, uh, standing point that's what i like to i prefer doing it that way as opposed to using a wick and um hold on i got it i'm sorry guys i'm also on the other side trading at the same time so please bear with me if i'm taking a little bit longer than expected uh, because btc likes to nuke while i'm doing videos for whatever reason and um okay so that being said guys oh i'll just speak that being said guys if we happen to be a be bearish right now right we could expect the lower leg somewhere down here at that 44 45 thousand dollars right now if we're from a bullish perspective i think it's very imperative to understand that this specific block that they built uh at the range low is that once you get above it and you get acceptance above it, you could officially open the argument that we are, let me make this to the left right here, that we are going to create a mitigation block out of this. This is gonna become support. So, you know, everyone's saying that, oh yeah, I'm not gonna turn bullish until I get back up above acceptance above 59 or 60,000 dollars, which is valid from a structural perspective, but from a local perspective and a lower time frame, this is your biggest X factor right now, right? Any, we could easily just go up like this, reject here, and then go make a lower low at that point reaccumulate at forty four thousand dollars and this to me has a higher probability of playing out than doing something like this right i factor in that this is a stronger bearish case in the top one i think that once we get back up here and we start testing this level and come back we just basically say we get back into this range we go back up we test come come over here get rejected here once we come back down we're going to find a lot of support because of this block like once you get acceptance above this, I think that the bullish case is significant, significant at that point, right? So, um, locally speaking, I can't be, I can't be, uh, I'm being realistic right now. I can't be completely blind long until we get back into range low, which is fifty-three thousand uh, dollars. I'm ignoring, I'm completely ignoring everything on the left side. To me, if I start factoring in this range, which I could, then that opens up the doors for relatively lower prices right because look at look look at what we have at that point we have our high this is our high right this is our high up here we have a breakdown of the high i'm going to make these colors these these lines different i'll make them blue now i'm going to make them uh, green and i'm going to make them yeah make them green so that's that's your breakdown of the range high into range low now someone might say why is that your range low well wait hold on i gotta go on higher time from it's hard to do it on the four hour guys i'm sorry um no this is your range low right here sorry right there so somebody might argue the fact that why is that why is that your range high and your range low well we had we had the we had the breakdown at that point right so this becomes a mitigation block and as, as you could tell look at that green line it's it, we broke down over here it, it all it's all it all fits the the, the 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 narrative right we broke down over here um we deviated it over here and then we um we bounced off support over here now we try to get above it but we failed Field breakout, and now we broke under it. So the green line, to me, that 55.8 is a very significant area, very significant area for me that we need to reclaim. Um, so let's talk about this range right now, okay? Let's talk about this range. I really hope I'm not confusing you guys, but I'm a range player, and that, that's how I'm able to depict if we're uh, bullish or bearish. So based on this specific range, the gray box that we're working with, green, green, in the gray, look how much room we have to dump. Let's grab it all the way to the candle right there. Let's make this blue. 
look how much room we have. We have roughly about another maybe 10%, give or take, from here. 6%, 8%. If we want to go into the wick territory down here to these wicks where the liquidity is, about 10%. Now, if we do happen to do that, altcoins are going to take another hit. And they're going to shit the bed again. So I don't want to open the discussion of playing with the main range because this is your original range um, that led to the expansion up. I still want to assume that we are in micro range, which is a local range. At that point, things are seem a little bit more comfortable being in a, uh, being in an attempt to uh, long and whatnot. So I'm leaving the green here. I'm leaving the green here. Just take just take into consideration that the green zone, the green bands. I mean the green horizontal lines are your range low and your range and your range high from the macro. Um, if you want to go even further out to like the, the three day or two day, then you want to take in consideration that that's your range low. Let's make this uh, red. No, let's make this, uh, I don't know what color you want to make this guys. Let's make this orange. And that being your range, that, that being your range low is only because we never retested the breakout. See, what do we have over here? We got lows, we got a deviation of those lows, and then more likely than not, you come back down and you retest those lows at $44,000, which makes your green range valid again. And then the yellow, and then the red range, which is your local range, will be intact until we come back up and reclaim it, right? So the way I play is range to range. Once you break down out of the first range, your, your local, then you can start using your macro range, um, and the main, main, main level to be to be to be uh, to be um, honest with you is this orange, which is forty-one thousand dollars. Only because we never retested the breakout. You see how we have this big insufficiency candle, this big one, right here. We never reclaimed it. We never. We are sorry. We never um, filled it and whatnot. This is too small of a move to to, to fill this big candle up, because the higher time frame you go, the the more straight that that candle is. The more vertical that candle is. Look at that candle, dude. You know. Um, so I'm a little bit on the fence here, um, but I hope this makes sense for you guys. If we go any lower, we're anticipating that forty-four thousand dollars must get hit. Um, come back down, take out these lows, and tap the tap the third tap the third attempt, which is going to be one down here, two down here, and this will be your third attempt, and then re uh, retest and see what happens at that point. Okay, but I'm not for this, man. I'm not for this. I'm still for this being a long right here, and hope that I'm right. Um, all right, so from the lower time frame, guys, let's let's talk about what I'm playing now, why I'm long and whatnot. Let's go to the setup. So I'm gonna keep this up because this is gonna be your. Why did I put BTC LTC? What am I doing right now? What did I do this for? A low time frame, low time LTF. Well, I'm like thinking of Litecoin. I'm leaving this up over here, guys, because I want this red range to be reclaimed. Put that like this, and let's put this like this, just so that we can see that there's two different ranges. So, okay, set up now. Um, all right, I'm not going to delete. I'm going to just delete these, delete these, delete these. I'll tell you what I'm doing. Okay, so the setup that I'm working with is here. Someone's still trying to sell this off, man. It's crazy, dude. It's crazy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Okay, so this is what I'm working with, guys. We had a four-hour order block, which I'm going to keep up there for whatever the case is. Previous Monday high. I'm going to delete this because I don't care for this anymore. This is going to be a setup, and this is going to be your breakdown. So let's put a line here at the breakdown. Hold on a second, guys. And let's put a line at the breakdown right there, okay? So now we're playing with this, this specific uh, long. Now, I am currently in longs, okay? And this is going to be the setup that I'm telling you what I, what I just did. So we made a, we made a, we made a low. We hit a previous, we hit a uh, PVW, we had a PV, uh, PV, PDV, we made a low, um, and we, we are apparently making a higher low on the micros, right? So in one, in one, in one's, in one's perspective, this could potentially be your higher low. Now, what am I doing? I punted some longs. Why did I punt some longs? Well, because other than the oscillators looking like they want to go up and they want to reset, I punted some longs in theory that this is your higher low. 
and from a mi micro perspective again um, take my long I am I am in longs from down here but I'm talking about a scalp long right now which I'm hoping to hold for the weekend I am in longs I have my stop loss here and I am targeting first target will be 51.9 and then I have the 53 right there right there and the reason why I'm targeting the 53k and I'm not holding it for 58 59 is because I I made it very clear to you guys this level over here will be so hard to zoom out will be so hard to get above this whole range right here the whole thing I'm not gonna I'm, not, I'm just not gonna highlight the whole thing but just this is gonna be so hard to get above right from 57 to 53 they defended it they're gonna they're gonna uh, it's gonna be very hard in other words very hard to get above um so i'm gonna close majority of my longs at fifty three thousand dollars and then take it from there because we could easily easily just go up and then just die right so i'm not taking the chance i want to make some money um that's how i'm playing it um in, in regards to i'm gonna set, I'll keep this set up i'm gonna go to the one hour here that's what I'm playing right now, guys. And um, keep in mind, though, this doesn't mean that I'm bearish, right? It just means that I'm being cautious because the things we're not we're not 100 bullish yet. If you want to look at oscillators, uh, where's the high time frame? Hold on, TMA. Look, let me get rid of all this because I don't need this right now. Okay, if you want to look at oscillators, guys. Look at this. We broke under the one hour TMA, right? A few days back, April 18th or whatever, April 19th. We haven't done that since September. So there's absolutely nothing, 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 nothing. In other words, nothing easy about this trade. I'm not saying we're bearish. I'm not saying we're bullish. I personally have a bullish bias, but it's not going to be an easy write up. We did stuff that we shouldn't have done. Look at the EMAs. Let's get rid of all this. Look at the EMAs. Look at the 12 hour, right? Look at this. Everything is crossing down. We shouldn't be sitting here consolidating above the 200 EMA and the 200 MA. We shouldn't be doing this. We should have bounced, strength, V bottom, tested this, came down, made a higher low quickly, and back up to test the breakdown, which is here. That's what should have happened in a bullish case. And then you have your one, your two, and then your three, and then up. But instead, what are we doing? We're consolidating above the 200. It's not. That's not. It's not safe, man. It's not good. So the quicker we get above that, the the, the safer will be from a bullish perspective. Uh, daily time frame. We're sitting on the 99. Two day time frame. Which two days closes? Two day closes today, guys. It's gonna be very important. Two day closes today, because because look, it's the first time we touched the 55. It, it should be the 55. The blue one is the 55. I keep forgetting, man. Yeah, 55. First time we touched the 55 since we had the compression down, I think in October or September. Since, uh, when is this? This is September? This is September? This is September, yeah. So, again, we sh we're doing stuff that we shouldn't be doing if we're in a bull market, right? I guess, yeah, we, we should be getting the corrections. We should be getting our retracements. We should be getting small pullbacks, yeah. But taking consideration where we are, right? Where we are. Um, the weekly, I made it very clear to you guys. It's a very concerning weekly RSX, right? We're pointing down. This led to the previous. Let me go. Let me go to Bitstamp. Where's Bitstamp, guys? This is Bitstamp. Let's make this fucking blue so I can see it next time. I'm sorry that I'm going on and making the video long, but it's very important that I get my my point across. I don't want anybody to lose money. Um, you see this previous uh, RSX cross? It's the same thing right here, right? So we are sitting on support right now on the RSX. The red line is support. If we lose this red box, this red background, and we don't curl up, we're screwed. That means that we're going to go down here. And this down here is at least bare minimum another maybe uh, $10,000 move, give or take. ten to 15 k move um, throughout the next couple of weeks. It's not going to happen overnight. It's talking about like a two-month course, right? It's a weekly, it's a weekly time frame. So talking about multi multi weeks, again here too, we crossed down and we started a massive downtrend. We crossed down and we started a massive downtrend, right? We crossed down and I'm hoping that this rolling uh, this rolling top, which looks disgusting, is not the start of a massive downtrend. Um, and also we have our over under that is pending. The only pro the only good thing about this is that we're we are uh, we are coasting. Normally you get your over under and then you just nuke and die. Now we're coasting. See how we're coasting here? Uh, it's, we, we, we officially started a last month, uh, two months ago, February. 
just coasting. So if we were really bearish, we should have just done this and then just died completely. It went straight down. So the idea that we're coasting is at least some some it gives me some hopium that um, we have one more poke up. Um, let me see two week. Two week we're so close to the buy zone. The buy zone is forty five thousand dollars to thirty three thousand. I know that's a two week time frame, but I'm just letting you know that we're not break. We're not going to break the two week time frame. The two week buy zone. Um, the two week buy zone has been holding us up the whole time, the whole bull run since COVID. So if we do happen to retest, this is probably going to be the start of a massive new leg up. That will probably take us at least uh, say we do half the course here. Yeah, about. Oops, what did I just do right now, guys? I'm sorry. Give me the time. Duration. About another 200 days, give or take, to the top side. Um, so, this two days is very important to me. Um, we did happen to break down. We did sweep the high. So, this is a this is, looks like a very, very good argument that it's a local high. Um, macro top, I'm doubtful. I can't call it until I see it, but this has a very valid case, right? And then you tell yourself, all right, what do we really do over here? We have a two-day order block. And we broke above, sorry, hold on a second. We broke above the two-day, let me get rid of this for a second. We broke above the two-day, right? That was, that was resistance. That was resistance. We nuked under it. Everyone said, oh, guys, bull run is over. Oh, my God, look. Oh my God, SFP, bull run is over. Now what? I don't know. Let's see what happens now. Wait, what's going on? Hurry up. Wait, hurry up. Jesus. Boom. Now we're going to retest the breakout. Now we just retested it. So, come on. We just retested the breakout, right? I mean, come on. Zoom out, man. We can't be that bearish for the breakout retest, right? I mean, you could do whatever you want. I'm just trying to paint the picture as to why I think that we have more upside. Three week. Oh, three week looks so disgusting, guys. Look, it's like a little fucking around the top. And it's like, it's like a little around the top with uh, a doji in the middle. Or whatever you want to call it, a shooting star. Whatever the hell that is. Same thing with this nonsense over here. Um, yeah, that's a that's a valid argument that 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 looks pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm still sticking to my bias. I want up before down. The the biggest the biggest um the biggest um concern for me will be what happens when we get to that lower high potential area if we're gonna if it's gonna stick or not. So we are currently on a two day order block. This your blue your blue is your two day order block. I'm gonna label it so you guys can see it when we go over the oscillators. D two O B from a macro perspective. Guys, I'm gonna go over the oscillators right now and then I'll talk about Ethereum afterwards and some XRPs, why I'm long XRPs. Um, so, uh, based on the oscillators, guys, we're not ready yet, man. We're fucking not ready, unfortunately. We really aren't ready. But I wanna make it very clear to you guys that when we do get ready and we, when we do start seeing the potential crosses and whatnot, we shall fly. I'll make it very clear to you guys, we're gonna fucking fly. I'll tell you why we're gonna fly. Only because if you look at the lower, I think it's a 12 hour that I saw it at. Uh, maybe I have it, you guys don't have it on my end. That sucks. Yeah, I have it on my end. You guys don't have it on your end. I need to I need to upgrade the settings on the RSX to, to give you guys my values. My values are a little bit more, um, a little bit less, no, more sensitive, less uh, criteria based. Uh, the threshold is, is, is pretty um, pretty loose on my end because I like to scalp. So what do we what do we have here from a higher time frame? So this is your two hour, two day order block. You got a, um, a six hour bull div over here. Right, this is a bull div over here. This is a bull div over here. Uh, this is a bull div over here. Now, the only bad thing about everything is the fact that the fact that the sell zone, right, the fifty-one to fifty, uh, the fifty-one k sell zone is so close. The bands are so con uh, contracted that you don't have the seal that you need. So the breakout is not going to happen until we get above uh, these bands. And at that point, when your whole band, when all the bands, when all, you see how the whole structure is under the, 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 the orange line, I'm going to make this line a little bit thicker so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, mid, uh, where is this? Uh, the level, boom, make this a little thicker. Okay, the orange line is your basic, your, 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 your basic bull bear, bull bear line. If you are, 
if you are at the bottom half of of um, the whole band, the whole structure on the bottom half of the orange line, that's a little bearish, man. You have to be very careful with longs. So we are up at the potential breakout over here. You see how we're squeezing so hard. Once we poke up, come back and retest this. That's going to be a beautiful long up, and then you can target your red zone up here. Again, you always want to target your red zone when you are at a, at a bottom area. Same thing as uh, like what we did over here. We bottomed out over here, and all you had to do was just target your red zone. You got to the, you got to your red zone right here. This is where the this is where the tread line got to the red the tread the tread line is the blue line. This is where you got to the red zone, and then you got an extra. You can't be greedy, man. So from here, you got an extra six percent or seven percent before you die. Oh, that's how I play my scalps. Not my scalps, my intros. The minute the tread line, the blue line hits the red, I start taking profits. It's just too imperative for me to to, to, to sit and ride him for an extra couple of points up, you know? Um, 12 hour. Yeah, I see we're potentially making a reversal here, but we're not, we're not, we're close, but we're not there yet. We still have to start curling. This is going to take another maybe like 24 to 48 hours, unfortunately. Uh, two, two 12 hour candles will give us a better idea of where we, where we stand. The best thing that you want to see is this type of behavior where you curl at the bottom right and then you cross the signal line right and then you go back up and you retest it the retest is the safe long which is this long over here if you got this easy 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 exit to the top as you can tell on the 12 hour i'm gonna want to make it very clear to you whenever you get to the top point of uh, of the red line see this is a red line here see this red line whenever you get to the top it's a very serious line that you have to be careful about because when you are in from the bottom, the move up should be bare minimum, bare minimum 20%, right? So say you got in, so you didn't get, you, you didn't catch the bottom, but say you got in at the higher, the higher low, look, 33%, right? From the retest. This one didn't give you a retest, unfortunately. So the, the retest came over here. Um, what do I mean by that? I mean like, all right, the, the, the bottom is here, went up, and the retest was here. This was your retest. So this was a long to take up to the top side, and that was your compression that led to the downside, right? Um, I am going to, I'm going to assume that when these oscillators reset, we're going to have a massive expansion to the top side. So I'm not for the bearish scenario. If we do happen to get the bearish scenario, it's not. It's basically to reaccumulate before making a massive leg up. Like for example. Um, look at the bands. We're, we're dark green, right? When was the last time we were dark green? COVID. Right? Look at the difference, bro. Right? That's crazy. A year. A year. A year. Um, one year since since we, 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 we shifted. We, were, we weren't green at all. Look at this whole year, right? We never turned green one time at the bottom, but here we turned dark green. Um, so that goes to show you that we are putting in some kind of reversal. I just don't know if the reversal is going to take a few weeks or a few months. <clears throat> but you shouldn't take a few months in a, in, a, in a bull market. It wouldn't make any sense. Okay, go to your lower time frame. Go to your four hour, for example. Now let's see what does the four hour show us. Four hours showing us a complete beauty um, reset pattern. Right, this is a reset pattern. This is a reset pattern. But the only problem with these reset patterns, let me let me highlight them so you guys can see them. This was your reset pattern. Pattern. Sorry about that. This was your reset pattern right here, and then we're potentially putting in a reset pattern right there. Now, if you zoom out, go to the twelve hour. Look at the difference between these two. No, I didn't even have to look at the difference. I could, you could see it, right? You could see it. We never broke structure here, right? We never broke structure here. This is the first time we broke pivot. That's your pivot, right? Support, right? Support. This was your low. So you higher low. This is your double bottom. And now we broke pivot. It makes sense, right, guys? So one could argue the fact that we're coming all the way down to contest this. Down here. <clears throat> right there. We have to come down to contest that, unfortunately. See this? COVID. Right there. And the unfortunate truth is when you do happen to come down here, you could expect like 20 to 30% uh, retracement, which 20% here. I think we already did like 25, 26. What do we do? 26. So another 10% will put us in the wicks down here. Yeah, about 30, 36%. Now, if you want to go to the previous all-time highs, the Elon range, 
talking about more than 35 I'm talking about probably about 38 to 40 percent give or take depending on where you want to go um from the oscillator perspective but that is worrisome that we broke pivot you don't usually want to see pivot breaking that means that structure is officially even the oscillator structure has officially shifted if this was your original uh breakout this was the bottom breakout all the way up and this was your your um your reaccumulation breakout see how we never lost the gray line here we've never broke under the gray bar that's how bullish we were this whole time but yet we officially just broke the gray that's that's concerning to me that is very concerning to me hmm. next up here is putting in a fucking flag it's so annoying it's very concerning and usually when you do happen to break you say all right we have a, we have a hidden bull dip don't worry about it you know this is going down price is going up uh, you know, it looks it looks fine, and then all of a sudden, price breaks. Now you don't even have a hidden bull dip anymore. So that's a little bit worrisome, guys. I'm giving you guys the, the truth. Um, BTC on the higher time frame, on the three day, has a hidden bull dip, right? Which means that we are nowhere near. No when you're completion, right? Or no when you're completion. We just keep making even if this thing comes all the way down here. Or no when you're completion until this thing. This, this is the, we're talking about the macro bull market, right? We're no when you're completion. As long as the three day keeps painting these these hidden bull divs, we're no when you're completion of the macro. Nowhere near it. No you could argue with me all you want. Who why are you taking the point from here? Because that was the that was the point that you that you bounced off to create the higher high. Look. Right? So Think about it this way. Let me give it. We started here, right? Came back, made a lower low. This is your all-time high, and then you made a higher high. So this is the starting point. So if we keep going down, right? Let me show you. Again, this is a whole different way, method of trading, but if you get a visual, I mean, it's pretty sure it's, it's self-explanatory. Let me get rid of. Uh, I need to get rid of everything right now, so you guys can see. What the hell? Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Yeah, get rid of this. And get rid of all. Here you go. All right, look, look, look. Look what I'm talking about right now. Look at the price comparing compared to. Uh, actually, I need to put that. I need to put that. Uh, a main zone. Yeah, the main zone is the bull case. <laughs> all right, so look at this, man. All time highs. So I'm telling you guys, stop boiling. We're not gonna go down. We're not gonna die. Boiling's nowhere near done. All right, all-time highs is right here. So this is your all-time high, right here. This point right here is your all-time high. Now, what do we do with after we broke out? So this this officially becomes your your most important pivot on this oscillator because that was your all-time high. Uh, all you did after that is you made a lower low, from here to here is a lower low. Okay. What did we do? We made it higher, high. Okay. Now. What are we doing after that? Take your extension, take your trend line, keep bringing it all the way down. Keep bringing it all the way down, okay. So what do we do after that? All we're doing is making lower lows, right? So now one could argue if this is, don't look at the trend line as all oh, we have to go down here to bounce. No, don't look at that. I'm just giving you an, uh, an example. All you're doing is making lower lows. Here you go, lower, low. Let's grab this point now, point two, point two higher high right so as long as we keep doing this even if this thing comes all the way down here just just hear me out even if this thing comes all the way down here and then we reaccumulate take out these lows which is valid whatever at that point all you're doing is making hidden bullish dips you're still going to go back up after that it might take you longer it might basically prolong everything it might we, we, we might go into like that whole september September range or July or whatever summer to September but it just it just goes to show you that as long as we keep making lower lows in the three day and we don't break this Elon bottom um, we're fine we're fine you we're, we're gonna we're gonna be this is gonna be the the absolute deal breaker for me and to be honest with you we're not even going down there because the TMA bans the three day The three day. Look at the three day. One second, guys. So the three day, 
um, is uh, the, th the three day TMA band is at 44.4. So at that point, at the 44.4 range, that will be your bottom. No matter what happens, that will be your bottom. Um, no matter what, that's gonna be your floor, right? I've never seen the the, the, the three day TMA band break in a, in a bull market, right? We, we held support there. Uh, we broke down over here, uh, bearish, we test bear. And then if you go all the way back to 2014, I know I keep putting this in all the videos, but I want new new viewers to see how significant that TMA band is. So for example, look at this, right? We we uh, bounced off the three day over here. We bounced off the three day over here. We never ever broke down into a past the orange, uh, past the orange, um, uh, the orange uh, uh, band since since um, in, in during. Sorry about that. I was looking at something else in a bull market, right? Um, once you do your blow off top and you do happen to get above the bands like this the way you expand and you come back down and you retest it and you break under like if we do this behavior and we break under it right now we get into the three day green zone and then we go up to retest the breakdown and we don't get above it then you are officially bearish and you're starting a bear market yes I agree with you 100% but until we get that you, you need to anticipate that we need to have at least one bounce in that three day perspective three day three day bounce that perspective has to happen that whole behavior needs to take place right um, we don't we don't just die without testing the 3d at least one time look at this down here right one time here here and then we just died after that I don't know what happened here but this is like a deviation and then came back and then just died and then again here up here so three day to me is the most important the most important time frame when it comes to the team bands. Um, uh, a little bit of a, a little bit of a cheat sheet for you is just put the three day on your map on your chart right here and tell yourself all right we're gonna I'm, I'm not a hundred percent gonna unload all my fiat into this market even though I did because I'm just an antsy person I failed I'm not gonna unload all my fiat until this three day gets tapped once this three day gets tapped at least one time you could assume that we are officially going to start our next leg up now we could easily just do this right we could easily do this come up here sorry come up here right sorry come up here let me make this clear right here right consolidate at that 59 60k range come back down and then in the meantime this just keeps coming up higher 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 so when we do happen to get our i would dump from fifty nine thousand dollars, it'll just basically bounce off the three day and we could tap it because technically speaking we don't know we don't know what happened here like did we just nuke randomly or is it all time highs let me see this is all time highs right here right here did we just randomly nuke right into this or did we did we consolidate do we consolidate and then touch it after right look at look how crazy that bounces man like it acts like such a magnet that was a 40 percent dump there's gonna be another 40 percent dump um i do really want to see it another one over here it's another 40 percent dump down here i don't know what this is 30 percent dump maybe 35 percent dump i do though want to see uh, because he's running over there i do want to see um what exactly took place did, did we come to it or did it come to us that's very important to me. I want to see. Um, let me just put it down here. Oh, we went to it, unfortunately. Yeah, we went to it. Yeah, that's not good. That means that if we do happen to dump, we're gonna go straight to it. So, I mean, at that point, guys, you have your you have your level forty four thousand um, dollars. It, it is also valid that the forty four thousand dollars is range low of the previous range. But then at that point, you're probably gonna wick all the way down here at forty one. You know doesn't just just to just to fill up fill fill out a little bit of this candle you know um, and then if you look at it from a higher time frame perspective it's something along the lines of 38,000 let me get rid of that hold on 38,000 and then the breakdown is here so that that'll be your that'll be the main massive range that we're playing with between 38,000 and um, and 59k um, and the reason why it's charged 38,000 is because that was a higher low that led to the breakout. Remember this consolidation over here? This little, this little higher low? Well, that's not really a higher low, sorry. It's the, it's the all time, it's the um, uh, consolidation of the Elon range before the breakout. And it never got swept, it never got taken, get rid of this. See that? Um, so, yeah, at 38K, at least you, all you do is you take this consolidation block and you fill the void at the same time and why are we nuking right now i don't know i guess we're making a we're making a bear flag so annoying so guys that's 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 all i have for btc you 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 um you have my um my theory as to why i'm more bullish than bearish but i'm not 
I'm not oblivious. I'm being very cautious in case the whole market rolls over. Because think about it, guys. If the market does roll over, like if Ethereum, for example, rolls over, the altcoins are going to take a massive shit. So be very careful. Like Ethereum, for example. Look at this. It's a high time frame SFP. Usually what that does is it leads to a... It leads to a uh, sweep of the... Sorry about that. A breakdown. It leads to a sweep of the lows. And where are the lows, guys? The lows are over here. So, a sweep of... This is assuming. Say we can't get... Say we cannot get above above. We can't get above this. And uh, all the bears are correct. And do that. Right? But again, I'm not for this. I just want you guys all to just to be a on the same on the same side um with what i'm expecting and i hope that i'm right man because it's a lot better when everybody is making money in a bull market as opposed to um crying that they're down money this is the range we're playing with actually you know what i want i want the 38k range better yeah this is the range that i like right there 38,000. 38,000. that should be the breakdown all right and keep this on your charts put your tma band down so at least you have it tma go to your three day and I want you to mark out the three-day TMA band, which is currently right now at forty-four thousand dollars. Currently, three-day TMA. Press OK. Save this. And so, there's a lot of liquidity in these wicks down here. And if we were to go down there, I'm expecting at least a reaction. Here you go. This is the this is the liquidity cluster right there. Okay, guys, trade safe. Um, enjoy your weekends. I think they're gonna chop around and fuck as many people as possible up until they actually make the directional play. On the weekends, usually Saturday and Sunday, directional moves don't take place. So whatever they do today and tomorrow should get reversed by Monday, Tuesday. Especially if if we if we are bearish and they pump us, they're gonna reverse it Monday, Tuesday. If we are bullish and they dump us, they're gonna reverse it Monday, Tuesday. And don't forget, if you are into the whole idea that we're going lower, this is your map. We're gonna downtrend in this channel. Keep this in keep this in mind. We're gonna make a lower high, and now we're gonna make a, a lower low, and uh, keep doing this until we get down to um, that forty four thousand dollar range. Where is the forty four k? Yeah, these wicks down here. Um, and I actually want to put. Don't I have a v a PVD that somewhere down here? I should. I had it. Where is it? No, it wasn't this. Yeah, right here. Sorry about that. But I still want to put it on so we have it. Let's make this uh, black. Actually, green. Small. Previous day. The wrap. And then we have another one over here, which is at... Uh, no, I'm not even... No, I'm not going to go down there. I'm still going to play within this range. And then I want my three-day. Where's my three-day TMA? That will be... Right, currently right now, three days right there. Let's make this uh, dashed. And let's make this red. Let's call three day D three TMA. Let me put a different color so that we don't get confused. Let's make this black, dark red. Okay, guys, this is pretty much it. Let me save this for us, and uh, I'll post the charts later in Discord and whatnot. And close this. All right, cool. If you're bearish, that is your map. You have your, oh wow, the three day, oh Jesus Christ, that overlaps. That's some pretty serious confluence then. Let's go to the top. Wow, look at that, guys. The previous day VWAP plus the, the, the three day TMA mid is at that at that same 44K level. It's pretty big confluence, man. Now we go to 44,000 at that point. You don't really see that, you know? It's good confluence, man. Um, based off fibs, though, does it make sense to go down there? Hold on a second, guys. I need to do one more thing. Give me a clear chart. This is a three day load. I'm just give me a clear chart for a second. I need a clear chart. Was this my, this is my range. I don't want that. Here we go. Give me a clean chart. Just give me a second. Oops. Yeah, you see how we're still on that daily order block? And we're still digging around it. Yeah, until we lose that daily order block. I'm not too concerned. All right, give me a clean chart for a second. Let me see something. Go back to my, uh, I need my uh, buy bit. Okay, cool. Um, 
based off of uh, the lows. So we had our high, our low, our higher high, and where's the 618? 46. Yeah. One more leg down. Hmm. Where's our point eighty eight? And our seventy nine definitely got tapped. I'm pretty sure of that. Yeah, the seventy nine got tapped. The eighty eight is aware. The forty five. Hmm. Good chance that we do get we do happen to get a leg down, guys. Very good chance. Um based off fibs and based off the fact that we have no buy pressure the buy pressure is terrible right now they keep selling into everything every pump gets sold into jesus christ um it's, it's annoying if you look at this if you look at this uh look at this look at this it's like we came and we came and stay above it's terrible um let's go to bit stamp real quick We have massive buys down here. I don't know why they're defending this down here at that. Uh, yeah, one order, one order got filled. They're defending this at uh, 46,000, 45,000, 44,000, 43,000, 42,000. Wow, someone wants to get filled. 41 and 40. They're going to defend 40,000, in other words, guys. Not, we're not going to lose 40K range. I'll be honest with you. Bitstamp never, ever puts orders like this, and they're going to defend it very well. Keep that in mind. Let me go to uh, Bitfinex. What are these uh, schemers doing over here? Bitfinex. Um, yeah, them too. They had a bunch of bids down here. 40K range. 45 is going to be defended. 47 is going to be defended. Mm. And the top side. Top side, we have only 52. Let me see uh, Coinbase. Coinbase whale last time was shitting on us, guys. They were selling everything off, unfortunately. Um, Coinbase has nothing. Ah, never mind. I'm sorry about that. I'm an idiot. I had that off. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So, more likely than not, 46,000 is going to get defended as well. Yeah, guys, just be careful. It's it's the weekend volume sucks. It's low low. Um, so I don't know what to expect from weekend volatility. But based off the fib levels, there could be a potential uh, leg down. Just off based off fib. I'm not talking about uh, TA and whatnot. Just based off fibs, it could be a potential leg leg lower. Um, and if we do happen to get the re the, 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 the retest that was here. Hold on a second. Wow, we didn't even hit. We didn't even hit the point five, and we dumped. That's why it's so weird. It's so weird. 50 I just can't make any case for this dump and how it how it's taking uh, how it's taking place like usually you dump down like this you go back up you hit the point six five the golden pocket all right but if you reject up to 382 that's how that's very bearish like if you reject up to 382 that's crazy bearish you don't really see that unless you're like really really at the point that the, the asset is um, dying, man, dying. You know, it's terrible. So like you don't want to see that, unfortunately. Yeah, I was sitting at the point two four. The fire has a flat open. No, it doesn't. Okay. Well, guys, that's my that's my uh, that's my theory. That's what I'm expecting. Hoping this higher low sticks and we go at least up to uh, fifty-two thousand dollars to take out these highs over here. Take out these highs and then whatever. If you want to die, let it die. At that point, you know, or just die. Guys, enjoy your weekend. Trade safe. Be careful. We're not out of the woods yet. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I am pretty heavy in XRP longs, um, and I am. This I can't believe this thing broke down. It's crazy. They all painted the same pennant. At least go up and retest this, man. Retest this. Like, what is it doing? It's basically making flags out of uh, flags after flags. I'm hoping that this is the last flag. I am pretty happy in XRP. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I hope that we, that we bottom down and we don't go down to that 78 or that 60 something uh, cent range. And uh, my my immediate target is that 1.2, 1.3 range, and then it's gonna be on top here. Take out all these highs over here.
equal highs, right? All these. All right, guys. Cheers. Trade safe. Be careful. It's the weekend. You don't know what could happen. Um, I'm going to put this over here just so you guys can see it. It's the range that we're playing with. 